it's a bit of a chaotic first two hours, wasn't it? Well, you guys have made it to the District of the Autumn Court. The streets are much quieter here, much calmer. There are people in the coffee shops and tea shops, as to be expected, but nowhere new to the volume that you had witnessed in the Spring Court's district. As normal, the sky is in a perpetual state of dawn to dusk, very low amber shades with the same gentle, cool, but not cold breeze that one would expect. The idle chatter that you can hear coming from the various shops and homes that line the streets, of course, now fill your ears, while there is a slight ringing from the sheer cacophony that you had just escaped from. Where do you plan to go? You currently have two members of your party who are passed out, another one who was teetering on sleep, which would be various, I believe. Yes. Certainly. Being carried like a baby. Being carried like a baby, yep. So that leaves Freyus and Tibbs to find out where to go. As well as Belua. The We're trying to find uh, Sire's place of work. So you're going back to the Bureau? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And you're, you're able to make it there pretty easily since you know the route at this point. Nothing's changed in the week that you had been partying hard, suffice to say. But... You eventually make it to the front of the bureau. It's the same as it usually is. There's a few people going to and from. There's a lot of busy bodies here and there. And it doesn't take much to get into see Sire, especially since you could just flash your badges to the front attendant. Now the question is, do you plan to take a bunch of unconscious people into the office or are you going to leave them somewhere? They're coming with us. Okay. We have badges. <laughs> it just We have badges. Ignore the unconscious people. They but were you... struck in the party. But eventually you do make it to the back of the office struck up office building and you enter and you kind of give a knock to the door that leads into Sire Leonhardt's uh, office. And there's chatter inside. Kind of a soft, gentle chatter going on as two people seem to be talking. Do you want to knock now or do you want to listen in? Mm. Listen in. On the list down. One great ear right against the door. Just imagining Bella somewhere behind, just head down as low as it can go and just squeezed in. Mm hmm. And, uh, you can definitely tell it's two males talking. The first one is Sire Leonhardt, and the other seems to be a very soft spoken male voice. They seem to just be idly chatting, but I need you to roll a perception hear everything but I'm lucky yeah you're not feeling great no he's lucky I'm using oh, my lucky, lucky. okay haha <laughs> all right they just so happen to speak a little bit louder um as you hear them talking you first hear sorry Leonhardt that seems to be like so is there any chance we can probably get another team on that, perhaps? And then you hear the other being like, There is a chance, yes. But I prefer that it would remain the same people who have been on the case as of right now. We need people who have the same knowledge to be able to bring it all together into one place instead of having it spread out as thin as we have. As much as I would like to have multiple eyes and ears on the subject, it's getting us nowhere. Um, that's, that's very true. You said you had a bunch of uh, recently hired people, yes? Yes, but I think they may have been caught up in uh, the Midsummer Night Festival happening right now. Uh, oh, those poor people. Door opens. Inside, of course, is Sire Leonard, but there is a interesting looking uh, human man sitting at one of the sofas. They're elegantly dressed in autumn colors, uh, but they seem to be more on the side of winter in a way. So a lot more blues mixed with the golds and the darks and the ambers. Um, I don't have an exact image of him yet, but this is similar to what they look like. They have a very soft gentle but regal appearance ah hello oh um 
and Sire will stand up. It's like, oh, there you all will, will run off to. Run off. I'm surprised. To... I'm surprised we, you we... made it out. Yes, we went for a rest, and unfortunately, there was partying. Yeah, yeah. you kind of caught. Uh... I'm surprised you even went into spring considering all the signs, but did none of you know about the Midsummer Night Festival? No. It happens every year. They tend to hold this huge celebration before the Spring Monarchs Gala. Yes. <clears throat> My friends are a little tired from the Festivities. Has there been any changes in the case for Reginald? Mm, you see the, the Leonin shake his head and it's like, I'm afraid not. We're still hitting nothing but dead ends and... At the very least, thanks to his mother and of course the Winter Queen and uh, the Autumn Monarch, Reginald's pretty much stuck in jail for now, but at least his life is not in danger for now okay, so you see the man you see the the man kind of nod his head slowly it's like i wish we could do more for the poor boy and do you would be important hmm. i am just a friend of uh sire's is all we're very good friends excellent Prius, um could you relay any of the information that we've gathered to Sire? I don't think any of it will be helpful. Um, I wrote it down, but hold on. Uh, she's going to try her best. Is there another chair or something soft available? There are two sofas in the room that are surrounding a coffee table. She's going to gently put down various onto one of the couches. Mm-hmm. But the other man is taking is sitting on the other couch. He's tall, like really tall. I would say about six, seven feet. But he's very lithe and kind of frail looking. And he doesn't seem to be taking up much of the second couch. Oh, but he does look at all of you before frowning. It's like, oh, you poor things. I'm surprised you escaped. Yes. Well, we luckily someone had. Found something out, looks over at Tiberius. Is he asleep? Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> well, you just mentioned something in chat, so. Yes. Um... And if Ty... mm -hmm. What? Yes. Anyway, um, someone found out how to get out of here, out of there, and, well, we managed to ex just probably escape when the festivities were getting a little too loud. Regardless, she'll bring out her book, and uh, I might just want to copy-paste this at you, Nova. Mm -hmm. Once I can find where the beginning of it is, it's probably going to have random tidbits of information, but do 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 oh dear god, that's a lot of information, I am so sorry. I am slow at reading and slow at letting information out. Yes, uh, there was... Uh, we escaped the party just out of happenstance. Oh. Hmm. Well, I'm glad that you were able to escape that place. The spring types can be quite rowdy, I'm afraid. Yes, as Freyce is looking over her notes, the best I can give you is we examined the throne, there was a stab mm -hmm. through it that indicated that it wasn't some kind of slash weapon, it was more of a rapier. You'll a actually see the man reach out to take the notes first. So it mm -hmm. being a rapier kind of puts Reginald off the hook for using, as they believe, that ceremonial weapon. There's no, no way that could be the murder weapon. And you'll see Sire kind of nod this. It's like, yeah, we thought the same thing. The question is, is we don't know where the actual murder weapon is. Have you perhaps thought of doing an old population trick? Uh, what now? Well, where I'm from, 
this sort of thing is commonplace, kind of like finding a knot in your fur. Uh, we could seed a rumor that we know who's done it, and we've told Reginald in a way to get his hopes up, and then secretly release Reginald, but of course he's still in our hold, and let the others know that, oh, he's out for revenge, and see who starts to act the most, well, Rodin-like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see the man kind of set the notes down on Leonhardt's desk, and he takes them up and starts looking through them. It's like, oh, well, we've pretty much put almost everyone into scrutiny, but have yet to find anything. But for now, um, I'm a little tired. I'm much better at... <clears throat> no, no, it's fine. Um, Perhaps you should all go find a place to rest for the day. You all seem very fatigued. Oh, mm, correction. I apparently slept for that week straight. They're the ones who decided to party. Mm. Regardless... Regardless, I don't think all of you are in a state to continue the investigation if you're... Well, as you are now. The man seems... Kind of magic. The, the man seems very gentle and actually does look legitimately worried. You, you wouldn't by chance have any magic that would allow us to... perhaps continue on this. We've already lost enough time and I do not want to... No offense, but I do not want to stay in this Wonderland place any longer than we need to. And the man seems to shake his head like... You do not want to be well in fey magic, or else you may never be able to leave. It's best that you do it the old-fashioned way. Where could we stay that wouldn't have this time... balderdash? As long as you're not in the Spring District, you should be just fine. Can you point us to the nearest inn? And, uh... The man seems to take from a cup from the... the table itself. It, it smells bitter roasted almost with the dark liquid inside and he takes a sip of it and uh you see sire kind of ponder for a second it's like well got a couple of rooms at my place you could probably crush it for a bit that would be fine hmm. i agree it's probably best considering <laughs> even to my standards the the ends here are a little on the expensive side I'm not really worried about monetary expenses. Is that so? Yes. Hmm. Well. And uh, the man will finish his cup before setting it on the table. It's like, if you like, uh, sorry, I will go ahead and lead them to your residence. I don't want to keep you from your work as much as I already have. And you see Sire kind of shake his head. It's like, Ah, uh, no, it's... At this point, any a bit... Anything at this point is a great break from the tedium. <laughs> I will question one thing before we go. If you know that it wasn't Reginald due to the fact that a rapier was used and you had this information, why is he still in jail? And, uh, you'll see the others kind of look to you. It's like, because as of right now, that is not enough grounds to prove his innocence. Simply not see. owning the murder weapon doesn't mean that it couldn't have been hidden away or stashed away per the Summer Court's arguments. Oh. As of right oh. now, there is no clear-cut proof or evidence that it was not him, or anyone for that matter. And the reason why Reginald's continuing to be held is because he is the only known potential culprit, at least for what we know. We have questioned the guards. We've even questioned his own wife. And everyone's alibis were, uh, line up. We're just looking for one definitive factor, but we can't find it. It was still quite a unique weapon. It definitely had enough power to puncture straight through the throne. Almost, well, almost completely through the throne. And even though it was a rapier, it was a... Reasonably large-sized hole, if that may... I don't know if that 
was in my notes, so I might as well mention it. Mm -hmm. But Sarah kind of nods, it's like, oh, trust me, we have... There are plenty of powerful individuals here in the city that could have easily done something like that. The question is narrowing it down. Which, easier said than done, especially when all you got is the accounts of servants and the guards. And not all of them are matching up. Right. Uh, we'll get some sleep for now. As amazing as I am, it's not exactly my forte to look into death. Yes, and perhaps it would be best if we stopped your friend from snoring. The the man looks at Rose. How does that work? They don't even breathe. <laughs> well, they seem to mimic other traits of the living life. It's fine. <laughs> it just finds a way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask questions. It's just a roaring fire sound. Like the crackling of wood. <laughs> right. Yes. Uh, let's just get some rest. I'm too tired to think anymore. And the man will work his way past uh, both Bellua, Tibbs, and Freyas to start leaving the building and we'll kind of motion for you to follow. Make sure not to forget Various. And grab the book again. If, obviously, it's not being currently read. No. Book gotten, Various gotten, following. Mm -hmm. I was doing the slow backing up with, with Flix in one arm and Rose in the other. Mm -hmm. But the man leads you out into the streets and begins to sort of walk you down the road itself. It's a pretty quiet day, surprisingly. But uh, eventually it leads you to what looks to be, you know those uh, townhomes that you see like in uh, London? Kind of squished together, but it's got multiple floors in it. Leads you up the front stoop of it before taking out what looks to be a set of keys. And uh, we'll open the front door for you. It's pretty simple inside in general. Rustic. There's a few candles keeping things lit. Uh, there's a fine layer of dust and a few things showing that the place hasn't been lived in for a bit. So you can probably guess that Sire Leonhardt's been sleeping in his office lately. But it's a very homey. A little cramped. For the most part, you're surprised that such a big guy can live in here, but it's peaceful and quiet and dark. Perfect. Every is <sighs> finding the closest soft surface and claiming it doesn't matter how big it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Freus is going to try to bring at least Bellua with her to try and find proper beds for the other three. And there should be plenty of beds up in the rooms up, up top. You can tell that there's one large room that's of course meant for Sire with a huge bed inside of it. Though it's a little big for just him. But uh, there are two other rooms. One that has beds that are a bit smaller. They would fit you guys perfectly but they definitely seem to be children's beds. And the other seems to be just a basic guest room. Freyus tucks everyone in, except for, well, no, she'll find a blanket and tuck Tiberius in wherever the heck he passed out. Mm. The, the man will kind of, he'll wait until, see, make sure everyone's settled, and it's like, well, I have the keys to this place, so I think I will stay here for tonight. It's been a while since Sai has lived in his own home. He's been busy. Well, since I'm wide awake, I might as well... Clean, cook, I don't know. Something to keep me busy, since I can't continue the investigation for now. No. Especially not with your friends in the state they're in. Oh, I'm surprised no one told you about Midsummer's Night Festival. You poor things. Uh, well, we found out eventually. I just... Uh... 
Well, hopefully we're gone before it ends, or we have this all sorted out before it ends. Well, I still have a few more weeks until it ends, but I'm afraid as a result, no one's going to be able to go talk to the Spring Monarch without getting involved again. Which is a shame. Well, at least until the gala. Well, do you have any takes on this investigation? A few. But uh, I'm afraid I cannot share the information I have. A lot of my information that I have is confidential. As Fair we enough. expected. As you see, Sire leads his own team of investigators, and I lead my own as well. In fact, Sire Leonhard is part of my investigation team, and he reports back to me. While I have my own teams, I also report to as well. We have a bit of a chain of command. It's to make sure that the information gets to the right place while also not getting into the wrong hands. Well, as little information as I have brought, I hope it at least gives something. If anything, it just confirms what we already know. I'm afraid everything you've already marked down is information we do know, but it's good to know that things are so obvious that, well, it makes it easier to provide concrete evidence in the face of the naysayers such as the Summer Court. Yeah, being able to confirm people's stories from multiple different sources does give them validity. Mm -hmm. Exactly. At least that is my argument in the case, but Sire has been wanting to hire other groups as well to help the investigation. I'm sure that since you were outside the door, you heard that. <laughs> oh, I heard nothing. That was... Looks over at where Tiberius has passed out. Oh. Oh, I apologize then for assuming. Oh, it's no but, problem. But I've decided to stop the hiring of any more investigators. We've already spread ourselves quite thin. Oh. It is quite a situation, both in actual terms and political. I can see after a certain point being too thin makes an opening for this to happen again. And being new, too narrow, well, they just get away. So Precisely. <laughs> but it's best that you at least spend some time gathering your thoughts and looking over your comrades to make sure they've incurred no ill effects from their stay in the, in the Spring District. You see, celebrations such as that are perfectly fine for us folk but if you're not of the fey or fey touched themselves some um how do i say negative effects can crop up well at least for the two elementally touched they used to be fey as far as i'm aware but as well you can see from the re the other two and myself we i'm just hoping it wasn't from the food or alcohol it could be a little bit of both actually it's more the essence of the entire act it is a let's just say that it is a common way for fate to become what they are through those festivals it is a dangerous occasion for those who are not used to it or part of it. That is why I'm glad you wound up getting your way out of there in time. Unless you wanted to become changelings or the like. Trace is smiling for a little moment, absorbing the information mm -hmm. before finally nodding, going, what an interesting phenomenon. Um, yes, it probably is good, but for now, I think the collection of thoughts would be good. Alright. Well, I need to head back to the office to make sure Sion Leonhardt gets at least some rest, so try not to make a mess of this place, please. 
Oh, I tried. I think I will do quite the opposite and try to clean up. He seems to work very hard, and well, since he's letting he us stay for hold, free. He will hold a hand up. Please don't touch anything. Please no. don't. All right, then. Thank you. Best of luck. And, uh, he'll not before leaving. That's fine. I think that'd be a great place to leave us for today. As you guys begin to wind down inside of Sire Leonhardt's little townhome. You finally get a chance to get some rest, relax, and the like. But I know I see Allie has to crash. And that's that's fine, trust me. The sun is a deadly laser to all of us around the world right now. Like, Jesus Christ. But with that, as we wind down and Frias is left to kind of sort their notes and think to themselves as everyone else relaxes and rests. We'll be ending the session for today. Sorry, it's a little bit on the short side this uh, this week. But... No worries. Yeah, health is more important. But we can do some ICRP once people Exactly. Wake up. You will be more than welcome to ICRP. I'm surprised you didn't ask for the band's name. <laughs> you left without giving a name. Well, hearing from them just going, oh, friend of Lionheart, it's like, ah, yes, they don't want to give it away. Okay. Mm -hmm. Assumptions. <laughs> and playing a smart character as a dumb person. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being here. Sorry, it was a little too short. But considering what happened in the first two hours, I think that's, that's, I think that's good. I think that's good. Hectic biscuit? Excuse? <laughs>